Sous vide cooking is easy if you have the right immersion circulator. They stick like appliances heat water in a big pot to whatever temperature you set, and then they maintain that temperature to cook food that you put in the water bath. Usually you seal the food in plastic, but not always. You can cook in glass jars and eggs can be cooked right in their shells. The food eventually reaches the same temperature as the water, so it can't overcook. Now with meat, poultry, and fish, you usually follow up with a quick sear and a skillet to brown the surface. The benefits of sous vide cooking are perfectly and uniformly cooked food and a process that's quiet, neat, and mostly hands off. Cleanup is minimal because you're cooking your food in water. Vegetables like carrots and asparagus come out intensely flavorful and stay brightly colored because they're not cooked directly in the water. Sous vide cooking can also be long, slow, and gentle and turn tough cuts of meat perfectly fork tender. We tested six new models of sous vide machines, cooking eggs, pulled pork, asparagus, and steak. We evaluated these models on their cooking performance, how accurately they heated water, how easy they were to set and use, and we did a test of their power and efficiency in circulating water using yellow and blue food coloring, timing how long it took them to turn that water uniformly green. Here's what you want in a sous vide machine. First, accuracy. Accuracy is everything in sous vide cooking. We found a few of these were consistently off by a degree or two. Now that's no big deal when you're cooking pulled pork for 20 hours, but when you're poaching an egg, every degree counts in getting just the right doneness. It's a good idea to check the accuracy of your sous vide cooker with a separate thermometer. And if the water temperature is always consistently off, you always need to adjust the setting up or down accordingly. Now speed is good. Our favorites quickly reach their target temperature, shaving off long minutes of waiting around to start cooking. Especially with short recipes like poached eggs or vegetables, faster heating devices made a really dramatic difference in the total cooking time. Devices that were more powerful circulated the water more efficiently and they spread the heat to maintain a uniform temperature in the bath. In our testing, we saw that they blended the blue and yellow food coloring faster than less powerful models. We really want simple, intuitive controls. Setting time and temperature should be really easy and quick. Some of these guys had us turning off the machine by mistake when we were trying to set them, or even worse. One didn't let us set its timer in smaller than five minute increments, which was kind of a pain when we wanted a 12 minute egg. A user-friendly app was a big plus. Our top choice has a simple, efficient app that stayed connected and it let us set the device and monitor progress or make adjustments from anywhere. It sent clear notifications and it just made the whole process easy. Plus, with no display on the actual machine, it won't break if the whole thing falls in the water, unlike other models. Easy to read display really helps. It's so nice to be able to check progress at a glance. They should be easy to attach. Our top models attach quickly and securely to any size pot. Basically, there's two styles, clothespin like clips or ones that screw on. The clips are so much faster. Our favorite even has a magnetic base so it can stand independently in metal pots. The screw on style on some of these kept the device in a particular position so it actually didn't fit in smaller pots. Compact size is a good thing. Some of these machines are pretty big and clunky when it comes to putting them away between uses. Our favorite is really tiny and sleek and it has just one piece. After hours and hours of quiet, clean, bubbly cooking, we had a favorite. The Breville Jewel Sous Vide White Polycarbonate is our top pick, priced at about $200. It's simple to set, it's easy to clip on all sizes of vessels. It heated water very quickly and kept the temperature right on target, whether we were cooking for 12 minutes or 20 hours. With tender, runny eggs, bright green asparagus, fork tender pulled pork, and juicy steak. It's the smallest and it's the most compact model in our lineup, so it's very easy to store. And its app is very user-friendly. Even if you think you're not an app person, give it a try. We're sure you're gonna agree it's great. And one thing to note is that the exact same model also comes with a stainless steel housing instead of white polycarbonate, and that model's $50 more. We figure, why not buy the polycarbonate one? And if that's still too much to spend, we have an even less expensive alternative to recommend. Our best buy is the Yeti Houseware Infinity Sous Vide, priced at about $100. Now it's a little bit bigger and bulkier to store, and a little bit less efficient to read because it has a very high flat display, but it heated water accurately, it circulated it powerfully, and we had excellent results. And finally, a few tips for doing sous vide successfully. You might also want to invest in a good vacuum sealer to enclose foods really snugly. You don't want air pockets that block 
the contact between the heated water and the food. Our favorite is the Nesco Deluxe. You can also put food in gallon-sized Ziploc bags and partially immerse them to help press out the water before sealing. We've tested these and our favorites are by LK, which you can buy in bulk, or Ziploc freezer bags. Next, you usually want to clip the bag of food to the edge of the container so it doesn't float around. I like using basic metal binder clips. And finally, for long cooking projects, it's a good idea to cover the water to help prevent evaporation. If the water drops too low, all of these models shut off and they stop cooking as a safety precaution. So cover up the water, but not the sous vide machine, if you want to keep cooking successfully.